let's get this show on the road because all right what the hell bro can i just break this <clears throat> hey guys it's k welcome back to my channel where all the magic happens so for today's video i'm going to be where's my wig hold up I am going to be installing this HD Butter Lace Sensational. Whoa, I said that all the way backwards. This Sensational Butter Lace um, HD Premium Fiber Unit. And it is in the style Butter Unit 5 in the color 1B. So obviously I've had a lot of wigs, a lot of synthetic wigs especially and i'm just excited to try this out because i love me a wig and i took my braids out and i'm ready for my next style so i just wanted to film me installing it and yeah i will give my review and my honest opinion on the wig so yeah make sure to like comment subscribe click that bell so you don't miss when i upload go to the description box follow my instagram and all my other socials and watch my previous videos okay so yeah Let's get into the video. So first things first, let's get into the specs of this unit. So again, it's from the Butter Lace Collection from the brand Sensational. Um, it's premium fiber, it's HD lace, pre-plucked, um, this one has wider parting and ear-to-ear -ear lace. Um, it's in, again, the color 1B. And you can use heat. It's safe up to 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it also comes in the color 613, flamboyage blonde. Um, there's a bunch of other colors. Golden brown. All of these to choose from. And I'll probably, if I like this, I'll try out another color. Yeah, it's a natural density hairline and it blends with the most skin tones. And it says, this invisible lace absorbs light, making it virtually undetectable as it melts into almost all skin tones. The hairline is pre-plucked with baby hairs for an extremely natural appearance. Appearance. So yeah, this sounds really good. <clears throat> so this unit comes with um, three combs. So we have two on the side and one at the back. And um, yeah, it has good cap space. I think this will be big head friendly. It needs to be because I got a big head. So we're not about to have a situation like last time. But obviously I'm gonna have to go in and tint the lace because even though it's HD, it's still not gonna be like, you know, it's not gonna fit. You need to add a little bit of makeup to it or a little bit of tinting spray. So yeah. But it looks really good. I love the curls. Looks really pretty. It's still in this hairnet right now. Say you decide to like sleep in your wig, wrap it in a hairnet first, then put your bonnet on so you can keep the curls. That's a hack. You're welcome. Hopefully this is a nice wig. I mean, I've seen this wig on other girls and it looks so good. So I had to try it out for myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into the install now and I will most likely do a voiceover yeah. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is taking an alcohol wipe and I'm just sanitizing like my hairline. This removes any oil and makes it way easier to install the wig and it's just cleanly. Then I'm just putting on my wig cap and adjusting it to fit my head the way I want it. Um, I didn't do a bald cap method this time because I just wanted a quicker install and yeah, so this just worked fine for me. So now I'm just putting the wig on my head and making sure that it's actually going to fit the way I want it and that it's big head friendly because I have a big head and yeah, um, I'm going to slide it back eventually. I'm not like putting it on right now, but yeah, I'm just checking that it's gonna fit the way I want it to and seeing if I'm gonna use any combs or the adjustable straps that come in the cap. Oh. 
So I'm taking some makeup that's close to my skin shade and I'm just tinting the lid cap at the front. And I think I used my Fenty Matchstick. I'm not sure, I think it's called Espresso. I think that's the shade, but I'll check and I'll put it in the description box. So I'm going in with my got to be glue free spray um, and this is the adhesive that I'm using to glue down my wig. It's quick and easy and I'm not going to be wearing like this wig continuously so I don't need it to like stick down for a super long time so that's why I didn't use like ghost bond or anything like that, any really harsh glues. Then you wanna cry Ill -will. Really thought you know the so now as you can see i'm taking my black satin headscarf and i'm just tying this around the perimeter of my head because I'm getting ready to melt this lace in with my hair dryer. And now I'm just going back in with some of that contour that I used before and I'm putting this all over the lace even though the lace is supposed to be HD um, it's still not like perfect obviously so I just want it to blend better with my skin tone And then for the rest of the lace, I'm repeating the exact same process. I'm taking my got to be glue spray, spraying it, and then in a bit, I'm going to blow dry those pieces so that they're laid. And then after that, I'm going to go back in with that contour and match my lace to my skin tone once again. Baby, I wonder. Baby, I 
And one thing I want to mention is that when it comes to a lace front wig, I am not taking my time on like the side parts of my head because if you so close that you can see my lace, you just too close. I will, I don't know. It's just always a struggle for me because I have like low edges on that side of my face. I mean, on the sides of my face. So it's like, it's an uphill battle. So honestly, just do it how you, how it works for you because that's what I do for me. It works for me. Go team, go team. Now I'm taking this olive oil mousse. Um, once again, it's going to be in the description box because I don't know what it's called. I forget. But yeah, I just put this all over like the top of the wig to just kind of lay it down because the top was looking a little bit crimpy and I just didn't like that. So that's what I did to combat that. So now for the part, I'm taking a little bit of concealer that's lighter than my skin tone and I'm putting that down the part to make things look more natural. Unfortunately, I did not stay in frame for this, but I'm just tapping the concealer into the part. You don't wanna like swipe it on because then it looks really unnatural. And it's really hard when you make a mistake with this step to like correct it. So just take your time and do light taps. So at this point, I still didn't really like how the top of the wig looked. So I just went in with my um, curling iron and I laid that down. If you have a hot comb, use that. But this is for my girls that don't have a hot comb at the moment. You gotta make do with what you got. And be patient, take your time. Don't burn yourself like I did here. Just be safe. Okay guys, I just wanted to say that this wig was honestly big head friendly. I didn't think it was going to be when I first like started trying to put it on my head, but it actually is. It's it's not tight on my head, but it's not loose. Like it's just secure. Um, another thing is I didn't get any tangles. I didn't get any shedding and the hairline was really nice. I decided not to do baby hairs because I'm trying to go for a more natural look. And yeah, maybe I'll do an update on this wig and we'll see how it lasts because it's a curl unit. I wouldn't recommend sleeping in it because it's curly and anytime I've slept in a curly wig, it just doesn't go well. But so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Click that bell so you don't miss a single time I upload. Um, click the links in my description box to follow my Instagram and my other socials and check out my other videos that I posted. Yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.